I dimpled the stainless steel plate and I ended up using 4.3 cc's of powder in each one of those little dimples. We have 2F black powder here, we have Trail Boss here, Vitavori N133, 4227, and the MP540 powder here. I'm going to light the black powder first. I'm giving myself a little fuse. Do you think the black powder is going to ignite all of these? I don't know. powder. It's Toad's Shooting Show in Toadnacolor. There goes the black powder. Wow, okay. Black powder ignited the 4227. There's N133. Very curious about the trail boss. Wow. And then the powder that we're testing is MP540. I doubled the video time and then I timed it. Black powder was the fastest at 0 0.78ths of a second. Trail boss was 1.11. Shooter's World Precision was 2.02. AR Comp was 2.21. It could have been a little bit longer. When we edit these type of uh, videos, it's kind of hard to get them exact. I was surprised that N133 came in at 245, and we're talking about 20 hundredths of a second, so there can be a little bit of error there. Varget was probably between 3.68 and 4 seconds. I was very surprised that IMR4227 came in at 3.94, but that could have been because it was ignited by the fastest powder, which was the black powder that was sitting right next to it. The MP540 came in at 5.08 seconds for its total burn. And Rotumbo was 5.18 uh, seconds. They designed these powders to be detonated within a chamber. So obviously when you're, when you're setting them on fire in an open space, you're going to get different results. One of the first things that I did notice with the MP540 is it actually used itself up in a fire in about the same time 
as Rotombo, which is an extremely slow powder. That group isn't any worse than some of the groups that I've done with low development with Varget. So, another interesting thing with the Varget is I purchased two pounds of Varget and delivered to my door was $160. So that is a that's $80 a pound for Varget. And this powder uh, at whatever the math is, at around $185 from American Reloading, this MP540, uh, got 8 pounds for $185. They also, on their site, and I, I, I'm, in, I'm not endorsing this American Reloading, but I'm letting you know this is another resource for reloading supplies at a time when everybody's gouging. These guys, I, was act, I actually bought 750 projectiles for a nickel a piece. I mean, when was the last time you spent five cents for a projectile? So their deals are good. Um, when they do pull down the projectiles, you'll notice that there is a little ring around there. I haven't seen how that's going to perform on steel yet, but there are some deals out there to be had. So, uh, it's just great fun and it's nice if you can do it affordably, right? Using the monetary system of measurement, we will notice that it's just over the size of a penny in diameter. Save pennies with MP540 gunpowder, only at American Reloading.